You can't make more revenue with email if your email never gets to your subscribers' inboxes. Hey, I'm Karanda Adair, and I'm the CEO of Carvel Digital and a certified automation service provider. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about four areas that you can improve to get more of your emails into your subscribers' inboxes. Make sure to stay till the end to learn how to double your open rate in minutes. The first area is your reputation, and there's a few parts to your reputation. The first one is the reputation of the email service provider that you choose. You wanna make sure that you're choosing a reputable company that has good relationships with the email service providers who are receiving those emails. Companies like Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, the folks who are really gonna control where your email ends up in that inbox. ActiveCampaign is our tool of choice for this and has been for many years. If you're not yet an ActiveCampaign, campaign user and you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description where you can go and grab a two week trial. The next part of your reputation has to do with your domain. That's the domain that you're actually sending your emails from. Now, the bad news is that authenticating your domain with the email service is pretty technical and well beyond the scope of this video. The good news is that once you do it, it's done. You only have to do it once. So if you have someone technical on your team, they can look up how to set up the SPF and the DKIM records, which is basically you kind of showing your identification to the servers that are sending out your emails so that you show up as you and not sent on behalf of your email service provider. You may have never noticed this, but you can tell if an email is being sent from an email service provider and they haven't authenticated their domain because it'll say sent via and then there'll be kind of a weird looking domain representing that particular provider. And it kind of looks like this. So the good news is that when you authenticate your domain, you don't get that little via and that weird domain anymore. It just shows up as if you went into your inbox and sent a personal email to that person. And that just subconsciously helps build trust with the people who are getting your emails. Here's a story about why reputation matters so much. A long time ago, I had a client come to me and they had a very large email list with a service provider that was thousands and thousands of dollars a year for them to use. And it was so complicated that they didn't actually know how to use it themselves and they had to hire someone to help them use it. And they got bad advice. They were doing all sorts of black hat, ill-advised practices with their email. And so hardly any of their emails were actually reaching their subscribers. So not only were they paying thousands of dollars for this big email list and this big service provider, they weren't even actually able to make use of that and get the revenue that they could have because of all the damage that was done to their reputation. And it was a long drawn out process in order to try to rebuild their reputation and fix their email marketing. So this stuff is really important and it's definitely worth your time and attention. The third part of building your reputation is, of course, what you're actually sending to people's inboxes. You want to be sending emails that people want to read, that are valuable, that people want to engage with. And that is something that you're going to build over time as you're sending email to your subscribers on a regular basis. The second area of improving your deliverability is to build engagement. Now, how do we do this? If you were to build a hierarchy of engagement, it would be opens, clicks, replies, and then someone actually forwarding your email to someone else. And you can actually train and encourage people to perform these actions. So for instance, when someone is a new subscriber, you can remind them that, hey, this message might end up in your spam box for some reason. So go and look for it and make sure to drag it into the regular inbox. You can also encourage them to add your email address to their contacts list so that you are listed as a safe sender. If you have a lead magnet and you've been letting people download your lead magnet on the thank you page, stop doing that. Put the link to the lead magnet in that first email that you send people because that is one link that they are most likely to click. It also trains people that clicking on your links gets them good things. You wanna always have at least one link in your email that someone can click on. Um, that could be a link in your signature to remind them how to work with you so they can go apply or they can go and directly buy a product, or it could be links to valuable content, articles, and things like that. But you wanna train people to be clicking your links and that's gonna teach the email providers, both the ones sending the emails and the ones on the receiving end, that your emails are valuable and that people like your stuff and people click on the things that you send. 
The great thing about email is that it's not just a one-way channel. So invite people to reply. Replies are great for your engagement, great for building your reputation, and you get to learn more about your subscribers. We're here to build relationships after all. So especially in the beginning, in your welcome email sequence, ask people questions, get to know them, invite them to reply to you and share things about themselves. Are you using any of these tips to build engagement with your email list? Let me know in the comments. One of the best ways to build engagement is to send more emails. I know it might sound counterintuitive and a lot of people resist this when I tell them and they think they're gonna be bothering people. But if you think about it, the more emails you send, the more that you can build relationships with people. When you send emails once a month or once every couple of months, people are likely to forget about you. And the next time they hear from you, they're gonna think, who is this person and why did I sign up for their emails? And they're probably gonna unsubscribe. So if you really wanna build relationship, send more emails. If you're sending once a month, go to twice a month. If you're sending twice a month, go to once a week. The best email marketers I know send daily or at least multiple times a week. So go ahead and send more emails, send value to your subscribers and show them how to get your help. Not only will they thank you for it, but you will make more sales. Area number three is your content. And I'm gonna talk about the structure of your content because a lot of people are surprised to find out that plain, ugly emails that just look like you sent them straight out of your inbox actually perform overall much better than fancy emails with your logo header and lots of images and links in them. That's because of two things. One, the email service providers, when they see those bunches of images and those links, they are more likely to put you in the promotions folder because that's exactly what it looks like. So if you wanna to get to the inbox, you need to look more like an actual person who's trying to connect with your people. So no need to make your emails look like Oprah magazine. <laughs> Just send that plain email. And if you don't believe me, that's cool. Just split test. Most email providers will allow you to test two different emails with different content and you can see for yourself which performs better for your audience. I also see a lot of larger companies who are very corporate in that there's no person behind their emails. They'll sign their emails as the company name and that doesn't allow people to actually connect with the company and the people inside of the company. So if you're doing that, I would encourage you to designate a person in the company that the emails are going to be from, even if that's not the person writing them. And it doesn't have to be one person all the time. I get emails all the time from companies that I love. And sometimes I'll get it from one person. Sometimes I'll get it from another person. You can actually use the same email address and you can just change the sender name in Active Campaign, And that way people can can get to know lots of different people inside your company. That brings me to area number four, which is keeping your email list clean. Now I told you I would tell you how to double your open rates in minutes and here's how. Take everybody who has not opened any of your emails in a certain period of time. Depending on how often you send, that might be 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Take all of those unengaged subscribers and remove them from your email list. I know it seems drastic, but I had a client who had over 17,000 people on her email list and it took me six months to convince her to really chop all of those dead leads out of her email list. We took her from 17,000 subscribers down to 4,000 subscribers and her list was instantly more engaged and she started making more money. It does not do you any good to hold on to subscribers because of some vanity metric of having a bigger list. You don't want a bigger list. You want to make more money. I'm assuming that's true if you're watching this video. So keep your list clean, monitor who is disengaged and remove those people. One of the things we do for all of our clients is we set up automations that will track who has become disengaged and stopped opening your emails or stopped clicking on your emails. They are tagged according to how long they've been disengaged, so 30, 60, 90 days. And then based on those tags, you can actually trigger an automation that will either try to re-engage those subscribers or we'll just unsubscribe them from your list. You can always reach out to those people on a different channel to see if you can get them re-engaged with your company. You can also improve engagement by sending people information that they care about. Segmenting your list is one of the best ways to increase engagement. And I talk about that in my video here about segmenting mistakes. So you can go and watch that whole video. The more you can send content to people based on what they're actually interested in, the more engaged and interested they will be and the more likely that they'll buy from you. 
If you want to know how to branch out from just sending broadcast emails, go check out my other video, Sending Broadcast Emails is Not Enough. I'll link that in the description. All right, I have given you a lot of tips in a short amount of time. You might want to go back and rewatch this video and take some notes. But if you want a nice wrap up of the top three things that you can do to improve your deliverability, here they are. Number one, stop emailing people who just aren't that into you. Don't email people who haven't even opened your email in 60 or 90 days. You can reach out to those people on another channel to try to get them re-engaged. Number two, send more emails to your most engaged people. You can use segments so that you're not just sending broadcast to your entire list, but you're sending the most emails to the people who have opened your emails, who have clicked on your links and who are picking up what you're putting down. Number three, send more emails. The more emails you send, the quicker and better relationship you're going to build with your subscribers to be able to turn those subscribers into clients. And I hope it goes without saying that the emails you send should always be valuable for your subscribers, should be working to help them solve the problem that they got on your email list to solve so that they are more likely to want to engage with you and want to hire you and buy your products. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what was your biggest aha moment in the comments. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, sign up for my free training, how to turn active campaign into a marketing engine. I will put the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and I will see you next time.